The overdose death of a fashion designer to the stars is now considered a homicide. CBS 2's Dave Carlin is on the scene in the Lower East Side with a possible link to similar cases. Katie Gallagher was found dead inside her apartment in late July. Only now is it declared a homicide. Katie Gallagher was 35, and the fashions she created were in Vogue and Glamour magazines with celebrity clients that included Lady Gaga and Laverne Cox. Her neighbors remember her smile and warm demeanor. Everybody knows this lady. Here's Eddie Ling, who works on the ground floor in a bike shop. He said, lady died. I think, oh, I, I don't know what happened. The medical examiner found fentanyl mixed with other drugs in her system. Police rule it a homicide now, eight months later. Detectives are investigating a string of cases across Manhattan where suspects drug victims they target in bars. They are out there preying on innocent people. City Council member Eric Botcher wants the public to know about and guard against drug facilitated thefts. And the word is out that you can victimize someone and you can access their bank accounts electronically in ways that you couldn't years ago with the banking apps that can be opened with facial, facial recognition. Police say 25-year-old Julio Ramirez and 33-year-old John Umberger died last year from the deadly drug cocktails used to incapacitate them so they could be robbed. I would hope that it would bring more awareness to the situation since it happens to a lot of people that we just don't know about. And now Gallagher, who is a Pennsylvania native, survived by her parents and sisters. They set up a GoFundMe raising more than $30,000 to complete and display her final fashion collection. One of Gallagher's sisters told me they are planning a celebration of her life here in New York City sometime in May. In a written statement released by the family, they say they want this classification of homicide to set the record straight. But they also say all of this breaks their heart all over again. On the Lower East Side, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.